We were somewhere around Rockwell, wherever that is, when the drugs began to take hold. What the fresh hell are you? I'm an old duke, and I'm doing a story about the election for the Salisbury Post. Well, I'm Gary Busey. I, I've never seen you around here before, little guy. Uh, when did you start working for the Post? This morning, man. I've been contracted out on a special assignment by the editor to cover the election. It's my kind of thing. I'll need to see your press credentials. Our vibrations were getting nasty. When I signed up for this job, I knew that I was heading into a backwater Republican Nazi state where a man if so inclined, couldn't get drunk out of his mind in the steps of a courthouse. And what could be more American than that? But these right here, these credentials are what I'm looking for. Ah! Don't touch me, man! I don't know you, Ben! Look! If you want to ask me a few questions, that's fine, but I'm not going to stay here and flirt with you till I get wood. I got work to do. I bet you do, signing up cadavers to vote for the propagandist regime. Excuse me? I know your type! And what type would that be? Oh, I know what you are. You're a corrupt wheel of government, son. Another pagan shit rooting around while the American dream is raped and left for dead in a ditch somewhere, like discarded trash from a fast food hellhole. Look, man, I'm just doing a job. And what job is that exactly? Answer me, goddammit! I'm supposed to be registering people to vote. Some shit like that. I don't really know. I just do it for the insurance. Mm. Mm. You're no wheel at all. You're a slack jawed free spirit, like me. Everybody makes fun of my teeth. What? No! You fool! I can use you. They're gonna flirt with me again, son. You're not bad looking, you're just not my type. Oh, no. You have to excuse me. Hold on a second. Hey, what can I do for you, sugar tits? That's inappropriate. I'll tell you what's inappropriate is that shirt you're wearing. It covers up plenty. That's the problem I have with it. I need x-ray vision to see it. You're disgusting. I'll have x-ray vision soon. I've been working on my four-path point to ascension. <laughs> Dr. Drew told me about it in a dream I had where he was a unicorn. I don't understand what you're talking about. And you never will until you turn your life over to the good Lord Jesus Christ and any zoo, the Martian Prince. Hey, stop that or I'll turn the hose on you, Pepperwood. What? I'm getting out of here. I'm calling your supervisor. Man, you forgot your eye drops. I think she got them. <laughs> Run off my only customer. You're a menace. Look, I've been called worse, man. Let's get down to brass tacks. I want the skinny. And all the candidates, tell me what nefarious imps are running in the primaries. God damn, son, they're all Republicans. No, it's the sound that makes my stomach turn, my blood boil right out of my skin. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe it's the drugs I just took. Yeah, yeah, might be. Look, tell me about the worst kind of them. Well, there's this one guy, he's a favorite to win. He's got that much support, man. Hell no, hell no, nobody likes him. Shit, he trashes the schools, buys up worth his property, Browbeats people into voting for him out of religious guilt. That sounds grim, man. What kind of future can a county have with men like that? Behaving like swine, rooting around in public office, squealing and taking too many turns at the trough. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know, but I do know this. What's that, man? Spit it off! If he wins, I'm, I'm going to need some of those drugs you got in there, buddy. <laughs> Come with me, I know a guy. All right. <laughs>